In this demonstration, we will look at how to create a panel drawing. Uh, first thing we'll do is we'll just go ahead and drop a drill panel off of our panel drawing palette down here and just place it in the center of our drawing. We'll now format the panel and decide upon what spacings, uh, how big the panel is, and so forth. Um, in this particular case, I'm going to add what they call rails to the side. So we're going to add a little extra space off to the sides. I'm not going to have any space at the top and bottom. Um, I'm going to put uh, 100 mils in between the boards here. And uh, that tells me that I'm going to get a panel of this size. It's a fairly large for an array panel, but we'll go ahead and use it for our demo purposes here. Um, I can lock the panel boards in their locations, and that just makes sure that I don't accidentally move them when I'm actually working on the boards themselves. I can add pinning holes, and I just need to specify the locations, so we'll use the relative mode here. It makes it a little easier. And you can see a little preview of that pinning hole there. To save a little time in the video, I went ahead and added two more pinning holes. Now I'm going to add fiducials in the same manner. So I choose the fiducial that I want to add, and then just choose the location that I'd like to put it at. And again, you get a small preview of it. Now that I've placed my pinning holes and fiducials, we'll go ahead and let them populate here on the uh, design. And we're ready to start editing our design. So once again, I'm going to right click, go to Edit Panel. Now, as you notice, this design has fingers. So I want those pointing outward so they can be gold plated. So I'm just going to select those and transform those and flip them vertically so that the fingers are pointing out. Next thing I'm going to do is come down to this lower left board and I'm going to add a web route to it. And then let's zoom in to that. To that web route, I'm going to add some mill tabs. We do have a mill tab manager where you can create your own mill tabs, various styles of mill tabs that people use. Uh, I've already created one that we use here in our company and uh, saved it off to the library, so I just drag and drop it to place it where I want to. And I'm going to place a few of these. You could be more accurate for th with this if you want to. Um, or you can even zoom in on it and if you want to adjust it a little bit just slide it to the exact location that you want to. The next thing I'm going to do is copy these mill tabs from one side of the board to the other so I'll use the offset copy command to do that and I'll show you the first one and then I'll do the rest of them uh, just to save a little bit of time so basically I just decide uh, how far I want to copy it so it's just the size of our board here and just click OK and it copies it to the top of the board. So I've now copied my mill tabs around one board. I'm going to select them all. I'm going to copy web route parameters and then I'm going to select the rest of the boards in this panel. Once I've selected them all, I'm just going to apply those web route parameters to all the boards in this panel. And then the last step is I'm going to merge web routes so that any areas that would be uh, dropped off, any material that would be dropped off during the milling process will actually drop off on my drawing. And what I end up with is a panel drawing with milled areas open here, uh, mill tabs between the designs, and fingers at the edge of the design. Let's uh, finish off our drawing with some of the more common things that you might add to a panel drawing. Uh, we'll zoom out again here. And um, let's go ahead and add a mill, mill tab detail. So we placed our mill tabs, but now we want to show the detail for the mill tab that we added. So we can simply just select it, and we'll zoom in on it here. And as you can see, we went ahead and dimensioned it for you so you don't have to do all the dimensions. The next thing we might add would be a drill chart. 
So we'll go ahead and do the same thing there. We'll just drag and drop a drill chart over here. And at first, uh, the drill chart defaults to showing all the drills, but we may want to show just the drills on this panel drawing. So of course, we have the controls for doing that in Blueprint. And we'll just go ahead and select the pinning holes and mill tab drills only and just show those in our chart. One more thing we might add to our drawing might be some, some notes, some fabrication notes. So we'll go back to our fabrication drawing palette and just drag and drop some notes. Now I could have different notes here or I could have many different sets of notes here and, and one of them could be just specifically for panel drawings. So let's zoom out a little bit here and really the only thing left to do to this drawing and we would be done with it is dimension the actual drawing itself. So let's zoom in here on our tooling hole and our breakaway and let's do datum dimensioning. So we'll add a datum point there and we'll add a datum point in the other axis and now we'll just simply drag and drop dimensions. We can do mill tabs, we can do routes, the edge of the board, we can do any hole on the board. Of course we can do the fiducials that we added, we can do the uh, the other drill, the top edge of the board, and just as simple as that, we went ahead and added dimensions to our design. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to add dimensions. Uh, that's pretty much all we would need to do to our panel drawing. Thank you for your time.